Hey, what's up guys? Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile and the new Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now what we wanted to do really quick today was show users how to set up and access the fingerprint scanner on the new Galaxy Note 5. Now as many of you know, the, the Note 4 last year and even the uh, Galaxy S5 had a very awful fingerprint scanner. It was like this swipe method where you had to kind of swipe your thumb and it was very inaccurate. Half the time it didn't work and it was just kind of very difficult to use and enjoy. But like the Galaxy S6 and the new iPhone, uh, it's very fast and very accurate with the Galaxy Note 5. So you can use it for a lot of things. You can lock your phone with the you know fingerprint scanner. You can use Samsung Pay and Apple Pay and Google Wallet in the near future. And log into websites. You know log into apps like PayPal. Even Bank of America now supports fingerprint scanners. Not to mention the the next couple of Nexus devices and the latest version Android 6.0 Marshmallow will all have fingerprint technology built in. So what we're going to do is really quick show you how to enable the fingerprint scanner on the Note 5 if you kind of passed it during initial setup or someone at a uh, retail store. So you go ahead and head into settings and at the top of all these tabs go to personal. Select personal and right here you see lock screen and security. Now from here I already have fingerprint technology as my lock screen type which uh, and allows you to quickly uh, lock the phone and unlock the phone with your fingerprint. So you go ahead and head into fingerprints and this is what you're going to need to do to add more to your device. Now right off the bat here you see it's not even letting me manage my fingerprints or add more without adding one already. So this is nice, it means someone can't find your phone and tweak it or mess with it or add their thumb. So obviously this makes sense, but you go ahead and tap your thumb on the phone, unlock it, and now you can see I have three fingerprints already set up on my Note 5. One is each thumb and my pointer finger as well. And you can also add another one, and then of course there is a backup password if you don't want to use your fingerprint, or you can't, or it's dirty, or burned, or what have you. Not to mention a couple options for signing into websites, and your Samsung account, and Samsung Pay. And then of course you can press on any of these and delete them, or re-add them if it's kind of not working as well as you'd like. But what we're going to go ahead and do is tap Add Fingerprint, and as you can see here, it tells you to place your finger on the home key, lift it off, and repeat. And it's kind of a rinse and repeat, and you feel it vibrate. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of tapping like anyone probably would. But uh, see it's telling me to move a little between attempts. I want you to kind of mix it up, because obviously you're never going to get a perfect tap when you're using your phone. So kind of do a couple different angles. If it's sitting on a table, as you can see here, it's telling me to kind of change it up. So I'm just going to keep kind of changing directions. This is so, you know, obviously when you're using the phone with one hand or or whatnot, especially with your thumb. You know, some users tap it this way, but they, they set it up using it that way. So it's all about kind of customizing it with as many angles as possible. And as you can see here, it will take a couple seconds to get a good, accurate reading of my finger. Reaches 100% success. That is it. I now have four fingerprints securely added to the Galaxy Note 5 to use to unlock the phone and do a lot of other stuff. So it's that easy, it's that simple, and then of course you can go ahead and go in there and rename it if you want to name them thumb or daughter or wife or whatever you'd like. And then of course you can tap and remove any fingerprint you don't like if you need to add another one later because it only holds four. But that was it. That's how to use the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Note 5. Thanks for watching guys.